temperature report? Okay, well that'd be good for me to uh, you know, read what you put out. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's a wonderful gift that God has given. It's a gift that once you receive and once you believe, it cannot be exchanged. It cannot be brought back because eternal life of God is forever. It's eternal. It's all about what Jesus Christ has done. Jesus Christ who is God manifested in the flesh, born of a virgin, of the tribe of Judah, is able and will save your soul. The problem with mankind is the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We are sinners by birth. We are born into sin under Adam. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none that sinneth not. There are none that doeth good, no, not one. So when the Bible says that you are a sinner, you are not doing good, you are not righteous, there is no way for you to say, I'm going to heaven without Jesus Christ. Going to heaven is not by good works. Going to heaven is not by membership. Going to heaven is by not what you do. Going to heaven is by the finished work of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now there's one scripture account for man and death. The wages of sin is death. We will do that fine. We, most of us, will be buried. Some of us will be cremated. Some of us, our bodies will never be found. But we are not going to come out of that grave. Every pope that has died is still in the grave. Mary Baker Eddy is still in the grave. Muhammad is still in the grave. There is no purgatory. There's no virgin. There's no anything but heaven and hell. And to get to heaven, the Bible says that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus said, I am the way, and you're going to try to approach God by another way, no way are you going to get to God outside of Jesus Christ. John the Baptist says, he has not the Son shall not see light. But the wrath of God abiding upon him, the wrath of God is hell. When we look into the scriptures of Revelation, chapter 20, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. That loving God that sent his son, that loving God that died upon Calvary's hill, that loving God that allowed man to nail him to that cross. That loving God will throw you into hell if you reject what he's done for your soul. It's the revelation that Christianity is an empty tomb. And many religions, or not all religions, are just a graveyard full of bones and flesh and illness. 
Good people are in hell. Religious people are in hell. But only those who put their faith upon Jesus Christ, only those that believe on the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world, are going and are in heaven. You can't go to a saint. You must come to Jesus. Jesus said, I am the door. Why are you knocking somewhere else? Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Why are you relying on a wafer? A wafer is not bread. Jesus said, I am the water of life. And it's not baptism. See, Satan has everything to fool everyone about religion. Satan has an anti to everything that is Christ. Satan has a church. Christ has a church. Satan has a city. Christ has a city. Satan has his forms of salvation that don't work. Christ has himself. And when the Bible says the wages of sin is death, and all have sinned, you're going to die because you're a sinner. That doctor may put on that death certificate cancer, natural causes, being hit by a car, a motor vehicle accident, poisoning, murder, homicide. But the foundation of all death is sin. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now I'm not finished with that verse. That verse, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory, the gift of God that's eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave. The gift of God. For God so loved the world that he gave. Jesus Christ is a gift from God to you to be saved. And it can be received or it can be rejected. Upon receiving Christ, and dying. The Bible says you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. The Bible says in Luke 16, the man that did not believe on Jesus, he died. And they buried him. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes. All is not well. There is a hell, and Jesus, who is God, said that hell was made for Satan and his angels. And it's a place for those who reject the gift of God. Thank you. Amen. And it'd be a most miserable thing for the people here at Daytona Beach to die and end up in hell when they've heard that Jesus say and you choose to reject to ignore and to think other possibilities than what is being preached to you today you can believe that we came from eight but the great ape God did not create nothing. The great ape did not suffer and die upon Calvary's cross. The great ape will call you a fool. For 
where the Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Great A is no God. Evolution is a lie, according to the Bible. You say, well, preacher, I've got religion. You see my beads? You see my statue? And let me open up to the Bible against religion as I turn to Exodus 20. I am quoting from the Bible. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Oh God, I'm going to get to you by something that you said do not do. What are you thinking? And religion goes about to do what God said not to do. Religion has failed. Don't come up to me and say, well, my religion is better than your religion. I don't have a religion. I have Jesus Christ, God, manifested in the flesh, who suffered and died, according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. That empty tomb of Jesus Christ gnaws, gets rid of, makes vain, invalidates religion. You can't eat Jesus. The Bible says, before the law, in the law, and in the church epistles, man should not eat blood. If you eat Jesus, you are a cannibal, not a Christian. Cannibals eat other human beings. And they do it to the satisfaction of their stomach. Well, be the Bible speaks about their belly being their God. Have you read the ingredient list of your wafer? Under ingredients does it say Jesus Christ, I trow not. It probably says enriched flour, sugar, and other nonsense. Made by nuns who can't find nuns. The only nun in the Bible is the father of Joshua, which Joshua in Jesus means Jehovah saves. Now you can take your own rigid right into hell with Satan. John 8, 44, he's the great liar. He's the great murderer. I do you too. For the glory is God, not religion. The glory is Jesus Christ, the blessed hope, according to the Bible. According to the Bible. According to the Bible. Your religion according to man, the sinner. This is according to God who's sinless, who cannot, will not, not able, can never lie. Put your faith. Put your trust in God, in Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You say, well, that's good for you. It's also good for you. Because Christ died for all of us. And you can't shut up the preaching Jesus said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. And that gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. That's salvation. That's the way. That's the truth. And that's the life.
God is not willing that any should perish. God does not want to throw you into hell. That's a loving God. That's a long-suffering God. That's a God that cares. And yet, He will throw you into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. Now, you look at me here preaching, you don't know who I am, you don't see a 1-800 number, but you hear Jesus. And you hear every week, you must put your faith, you must put your belief upon God's Son who is God in order to be saved. You cannot believe, you cannot settle your soul on anything but Jesus Christ to go to heaven. You will fall short. God says, be ye holy, for I am holy. I can't be holy. And that's not a contradiction. The Bible says that I'm a sinner. Holy sinner, broad scope, two ends of the spectrum. So how can God see me be holy when I can't be holy? There has to be a holy one. There has to be a mediator. There has to be an advocate. And it's sure not Mary. Mary don't fit the qualifications. Let me turn to Timothy. I'll read to you out of the Bible. For there is one mediator between God and man. The man, the man, Christ Jesus. Mary wasn't the man. And if we confess our sins, He is faithful enough and just enough to forgive us of our sins. Because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one, and yet Jesus Christ. And when you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, as your God, as your all in all, you get the attributes of God. Upon Jesus Christ, you become righteous. You become holy. And now you can be that holy of the holiness of God. That when these heavens and earth pass away, and there's the eternity without time, when those who have believed on Jesus will be without sin, without pain, without sorrow, we can be that holiness to God in worship and praise. That you will not ever hear rockin' music from an amplifier again. You will hear the clean, un unspokable riches of holy tongues worshiping Jesus Christ rather than Satan's music. But in hell there is no music as you pay for your own sins. But the problem is, when you pay for your own sins, you pay for them eternally in the lake of fire. If I were to get a sliver in my finger and to grab a needle, I would have to heat that needle first to make it pure to work on my finger. God will throw you into the lake of fire to burn for some pureness that you'll never get. 
You need not to pay for your own sins in hell. They've been paid and bought by God's blood, Acts 20:28, upon Calvary's hill. The love of God is Jesus Christ. It's no worship of any man but the man Christ Jesus. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, for I have put my faith upon Jesus. And he has never to be found at fault. I have been at fault. I have still sinned. But my name is in the Lamb's Book of Life by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. If you're not believing on Jesus, if I were to say, how are you getting to heaven? If it is not Jesus, you are not going to heaven. And can you imagine God Almighty telling you, go to hell. We preach that you might not go to hell. But the words of the Bible again that Jesus will say to you, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. See, you still got your sin. I never knew you. And when God doesn't know who you are, and you die without Jesus, you are in great desire of a place that the only desire is, oh, if I could have a little drop of water to cool my tongue. You can't get no water in hell because Jesus is the water of life. You rejected that. You can't get alcohol in hell because alcohol burns. Some of you with all your alcohol are going to be a blue flame for a while. But you'll never be consumed. Remember the story of Moses and the burning bush? That bush was never consumed. There is a fire that does not consume. The Bible says in Hebrews, our God is a consuming fire, but yet hell does not consume. Your soul will live forever in torment if you do not believe on Jesus Christ. Any man that believes anything else but Jesus Christ burns in a devil's hell. Don't think, oh, because I don't believe in hell. Well, who asked your opinion? You got to take a shower and not to stink. God never needs a shower. God's always righteous and holy. Your little pea brain, what you think, has unrighteous thoughts. You're a one man wrecking crew, aren't you? God manifested in the flesh, Jesus Christ. Must have touched the heart there. Glory to God in the highest of the Holy Spirit that reaches out. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I don't wreck your life. Satan will. Your alcohol will. Your sins will wreck your life. But Jesus Christ is able to cleanse your life. To wash away your sins. If you put your faith and trust upon him. It's glory to God, not man. It's not, oh, I got a favorite preacher. Look how great this preacher. That preacher can't save your soul. Oh, look at the great denomination I have. Denomination. 
Find that in the Bible, please. Come over here and show me chapter and verse of denominations. I'll show you demolition of your life in hell. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Is your life wonderful and great right now? It won't be if you die without Christ. Is your life miserable? Jesus is the symbol of love. Stop preaching. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, right. that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that has not the son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Read your Bible. He's more about hell than he did about hell. You're blocking traffic, sir. What are you trying to do? You're people Go to all the world and preach the gospel that Jesus Christ saved, and only Jesus Christ saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Watch for false prophets. Right there, goes, hey, you're blocking traffic. They're moving. The love of God is Jesus Christ, and the love of God is the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the love of God. That is the salvation of God. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. I care about what the pages of the Bible says. The pages on the Bible says that only Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. If I offended you, if I offended your religion, who cares? Better be offended and get saved than be cast off into hell by God Almighty. It's plain and simple. The Word of God states in Acts 4, 12, Neither salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. That's it. Why is Jesus Christ so offensive to you? Because he's God. And God will reject what you believe. God has not set forth you as a standard. He has set forth Jesus Christ, the righteous. Amen, brother. Have a good day now. God is not going to judge by you. Because what you think is good, that person may not think is good. And that person may not think what that person thinks is, and that person thinks it's good. Everybody has their good standard. But the standard of good is Jesus Christ, the righteous. Life eternal. Let's put it in a nutshell. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Well, I'm a Baptist. Wrong answer. I've been baptized. Wrong answer. I'm good. There's none that do with good, the Bible says. Romans chapter 3. You can't be good enough. There's no heaven. 66 books of the Bible says there is. I do this, I do that. Why? When Jesus Christ has done the gospel to finish work. The day of reckoning is coming. Judgment is set forth. And that judgment will be based upon the judgment of the finished work of Jesus Christ. God doesn't take cash, check, or money orders. 
He takes the precious blood of Jesus Christ without spot. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And you've heard it for four straight years. You've heard the same Jesus. The same salvation. The same gospel. And I guarantee that the Catholic Church that I grew up in as a boy is not the same Catholic Church it is today. I believe that the science books that I was taught in school, I bet you they'll teach it no longer in today's school. My heroes. Amen. Now y'all today. Listen, monkey man, meet Ron. Hey, Ron. Ron, this is Jeremiah. Good to see you guys out. I really appreciate when he comes out here, you know? How you doing, sir? Anytime I see you up there, it makes my day a lot better, man. Amen. You know? Glory to God. You know? Bless you. Thank you. You bless me. Hey, you know, the Bible says, with the mouth, man, speak is the right. You can't just shut up. This is it right here. This is the time people that people don't realize this is it's about to go down, you know? Yep. You can't so. shut up about the Lord, can you? The church has been tortured by those that love the Lord and won't shut up. Yep. And that's what Jesus did. He was out just like this man every day, pioneering for his dad. Yep. Y'all have a great day. You too, Jeremiah. Where am I? Thank you, sir. He's in the middle of the Bible. <laughs> He's in it. <laughs> you know what the greatest faults that you have here? Not only you are a sinner, that's the greatest thought, okay? A great thought of you here today. You are buying God's fruits and vegetables. You're not even thanking Him for them. You're not going to find those precious vegetables and fruits in hell. I don't know if we're going to eat in heaven. Some say we do, some we don't. I don't care. But if you can't even thank God for a tomato, how are you going to put your faith and trust in God manifest in the flesh, Jesus Christ? You know, it's, it's thankworthy that God has people that preach the gospel. In Romans chapter 10, it says those that preach the gospel are pleasing to God. You can't shut a Bible believer up. A Christian must open his mouth for the love of God shed upon him. And that love of God is Jesus Christ. There is nothing else that saved my soul but Jesus. I've done the Catholic gig. I've done the, the atheism drug gig. It don't work. That's not satisfaction to God. But since April 21st, 1987, I received Jesus Christ as my Savior. Now that satisfies. And not only does it satisfy me, but Jesus Christ satisfies God the Father. And upon Jesus Christ's salvation, of the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. I became a child of God by Calvary in the empty tomb. And so can you. Not only am I going to heaven by Jesus Christ, the Bible says I are already and seated in heavenly places. The Bible says that you become the family of God the Father. There is no other satisfaction 
of God, but the faith and belief in His Son, Jesus Christ. Again, He's to be taken by faith, not orally. Salvation can only be wrought by the only name prescribed by God. And that name is Jesus Christ. Salvation is Jesus Christ. For whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For with the heart man believeth unto salvation, and with the mouth confession. My heart has believed, my mouth speaks, that you may know that Jesus said the way, the truth, and the life, that access to God is only Him. He is the only door. He is the only bread, the only water, the only life, the only light. that God will honor. God will not honor you as you are. God will not accept you and your memberships. God will not approve of you and your thinking. God will receive and accept you by the finished work of Jesus Christ. Listen, in your mind, you can't even describe gravity. And you're going to think that you can think up of a way to get to heaven. Impossible. Oh, preacher, there's no heaven, there's no hell. Then why did Jesus come? Listen, not only is he in the pages of the Bible, but he's in the pages of history. The world cannot refute the fact is that there was and is a Jesus Christ. Now let me ask you another question about salvation. If you in any way can, be, can get to heaven without Jesus Christ. Then how come we have the story of Jesus if you can save yourself? If you can save yourself, there would be no need for Jesus. There would be no birth of Jesus, there would be no death of Jesus, there would be no resurrection of Jesus if I can save my soul. You don't need one. Call the U.S. Constitution. Yeah, call the police. Find out. Yes. Yeah. I think it's freaking annoying. Oh well. Okay. Bible says go into all the world and preach the gospel. Yeah, Lift up your voice like a trumpet, show my That's people their transgressions. The right so it would be nice if you just keep it to yourself. Come no. On. That would be against you. Get your dog on a leash. There's You're leash right laws in Daytona Beach. No. Nope. Thank you. Bible said there'll be scorners and rejectors of the word. If you could save yourself or have wishful thinkings, then there would be no need of Jesus Christ. If you are able to get to heaven by whatever you want, God would never say, go in all the world and preach the gospel to annoy you. And God has wrote in the pages of the Bible, it will annoy you. Shall I open it up? I have a verbal command by God to preach the gospel. Proverbs. Find 
find your way through Jesus Christ. The way, the truth, and the life. Proverbs chapter 1. What did I get there? Proverbs chapter 1. Wisdom cries without. She utters her voice in the streets. She cries in the chief of concord. In the openings of the gate. In the city she utters her voice saying, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? The scorners <laughs> delight in their scornings. The fool hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. I will pour out my spirit upon you. I will make known my words unto you. That's what's happening right now. Because I have called, ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded it. But you have set at naught all my counsel. I would none of my reproof. You and Daytona Beach are in the pages of the Bible. As believers, as simpletons, as scorners, and as fools. Bible spoke about you already before you were born. That song was about a period of time where I met my beautiful wife and we were separated for a little while. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's the imitation of God. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Isaiah 1. You are on the road to death. It may be a short road, it may be a long road, but death is coming. Death is more sure than taxes. And Jesus Christ is the more sure way to glory. The invitation is sent out by street preachers, by people evangelizing. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There's no other but to believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. If it's not Jesus Christ, you are not saved. You are not okay. You are hopeless. And you are on the road to hell. And only by Jesus Christ can you change that destination. By having your name listed in the last book of life. By the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Come upon my name. 